Hi everyone! So today I am going to try something uh, similar but in a different way. I will use my funnel just to pour the colors in then lift it and then I plan on playing in the paint and doing some details with the back end of a brush just to make it look like a bit of an explosion going outwards. Uh, so I think it's going to be interesting. And for that, I mix my paints the usual way. I have one heavy body paint here, that is 50-50 paint medium, and then I add 25% to, uh, to the mix, 25% water to the mix. Then I have my fluid acrylics, three of them, that is 30% paint to 70% medium, 10-15% uh, water to the colors, no water in the white and then I have a high flow acrylic that is one part high flow acrylic two ten part medium and then about five percent water and I am going to put them in the funnel here in order of the less dense to the most dense so when I lift it the most dense paint should hopefully remain at the top and then sink into the other colors and create some effects. So let's get started with that. I'll zoom you in and we'll get started. All right, so the consistency of paint I'm looking for is a filament when you lift it, but it breaks up a little bit. I hope you can see this. So first color in is going to be the diarlite yellow. Then pyrrol orange. Then the ultramarine violet. And then the teal. And finally zinc white. What I'll do too is put a little bit of zinc white around so when I lift the color should go under the zinc white and create some effects. I'll put the rest in and let's Lift this. So cool. Now I'll try to spread the paint but keep the middle part from going off. Bring it back in the middle, like so. Cover the corners. And now, what I wanted to do is just create some lines.
So I'll give you a time lapse and cover my sides, pop the bubbles. I'll use my hair dryer to do so. And yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, so I am super stoked with uh, the result. It's really nice. I love how it turned out. Uh, it was a bit tricky to bring back the middle of the bottle pour in the middle of the canvas after moving it, but it worked wonderfully and I couldn't be happier with the, the kind of swirl it created because of the drip of the bottle. And then I love all the details uh, around the edges here. Really lovely. And I love the how uh, it turns out after I made the line. It added details, it added um, movement as well. It makes the eye travel around the canvas. Uh, it's really uh, it was a good idea <laughs> credit to myself <laughs> I guess. Um, and then a uh, bunch of cool cells have appeared here uh, it's really nice and here as well and orange the pyro orange turned out really pink looking I'm not sure if the color balance of the camera uh, picks this up but it's not orange at all anymore. It's reddish, pinkish. Uh, I think it mixed with the, the white first. And then it probably mixed with some of the ultramarine violet and made it a lot more pink than it was. Pyrrole orange is a reddish orange to start with. So uh, it didn't take much to make it pink. Uh, and I have to admit that I like it. I wanted orange, but I got pink, and I'm happy with it. <laughs> I have a little bit of orange left anyway, so it's okay. Around here as well. And the contrast between the teal and the yellow is just perfect. And love how the teal is really popping out of this painting. It's lovely, and I am really happy. Um, the white, of course, uh, we don't see it as much, it's just a little bit here. Zinc white is tra a transparent pigment. It's a zinc oxide, it's very transparent, um, also very dense. So it sank into the other colors, created cells on its passage. <laughs> And if there's any left on the canvas, well, it's very transparent and very wispy, like here and a little bit here as well. And zinc white is also called mixing white um, because it mixes really easily with the other uh, colors and you can lighten your colors with it and it works wonderfully for that. And that's what happened with the pyrrole orange and the zinc white. They mixed really easily and created some pink. <laughs> so yeah, really happy with it. I can't wait to see how this will dry. Uh, I can't wait to see if the pink will remain pink or dry more orange looking. Uh, either way, I'll be happy with it and I really impatient. Next, I'll have to try this with fluorescent colors included. I think it's going to look wonderful. And we're back and I am a happy painter. <laughs> um, so let me know in the comments uh, what do you think and if you want me to try this with the fluorescent colors uh, and if maybe only fluorescent colors or maybe just a couple of fluorescent colors. Uh, I like to know what you think and what you want me to try because I make these videos 
for you, for you, <laughs> use. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and yeah, I'd be happy to try whatever you want me to try. And uh, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give the video a like. It helps me out a lot. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!